Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Liftmaster Gene Guy here today. Um, looking at where I store my operators. Um, somebody asked me to do a collection video. I did the remotes. Now I'm going to do the openers as well. Um, as you all know, uh, I have the R80, the Genie, and all that stuff. So, uh, and the Craftsman, and Linear, and all that. Um, so basically, we'll start here. Uh, we'll start here on the bottom. This is a Wayne Dalton. Let me give him a light. Okay, that is a Wayne Dalton. Get that there, Wayne Dalton. Um, I forget the model number, like model 215. Model 215, something like that. Uh, of course, as most of you know, that is made by Chamberlain. It does look like a Chamberlain unit. Uh, then we have the Sears Craftsman. Yeah, let me just pull this out right there. There we go. Sears Craftsman. Um, yeah. Uh, T-Row on it. And you can see my rails go all the way back here. Back to the wall. So, um, then we have the Sears that I showed. Uh, this came out of our church, the garage at our church, the Sears, the LO, right on and whatnot. Um, I did end up getting a light shade for that and that. So, a uh, light shade that came off of that, went on to that, and a light shade that came off a of different Sears that was no good. That all I got was the chassis and all the parts. Uh, I got put the light lens on that and it works perfectly. Um, so, um, this one has the yellow learn button. Um, and I will tell you, this is the same frequency, for those of you who don't know. Same frequency as Security Plus 2.0. So, you could actually use a Security Plus 2.0 remote on those. So, if anybody has one of those and you want to try it, worth trying. Uh, of course, I have the square rail on it. Uh, no, that is not the 3 B C T rail that goes for that Sears. That is for a 139.663956 that I had. Uh, I still have the guts to it, the case, whatnot, and the rail. So, um, so there's that. Um, of course, just hang them down and tie that up. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, some of you might be wondering why the Genie. The Genie's been up for about a month or two now reason being is because these two openers well they kind of have bad boards um, the sears here um, I screwed the board up so now the board does nothing for the opener um, remotes still programmed to it but it does nothing um, so it's dead um, actually, you can see on the other side of the board where it screwed up and where it's got a burnt spot on it. So, and actually, um, this, one, this one here, the Wayne Dalton, has a bad board as well. Um, it acts like it has an RPM sensor issue. I put an RPM sensor, a new, brand new RPM sensor in it, and it did not fix my problem, so... Right now I have it on square rail. I did not get the original T-rail for this. The guy that I got this off of wanted to keep the T-rail. And I was perfectly fine with that because I understand that. I'd rather have a T-rail than a square rail. But this is what we have. Um, basically what I was doing, I was trying to use the logic board out of the Sears and hook it up to the Wayne Dalton. And yeah, I screwed up the board on the Sears. So now I have two bad boards. Um, so the Genie is stuck in place. Um, this is a bad board. Well, I think it's a bad board. Um, I haven't fully looked at it yet. Um, what was happening is basically um, it would open and close by itself, which is basically just because somebody was using the Security Plus 2.0 remote that was supposedly programmed and it was controlling this opener. 
whenever they push the button for their garage. So that that's what was going on. And I couldn't seem to clear any co clear the codes or anything. It wouldn't let me, so I think it's a burnt spot or something like that on the board. Could be wrong, but I think that's what's going on. So so have those three operators. Um, this rack here is just a tiny rack. Um, it can hold about oh well if if my rails are short enough I can get them down the row below where the Wayne Dalton is so um, yeah if they're skinny enough I can but so um, I can put about three, six, about nine or twelve, between nine and twelve operators on this. Not bad. And I do have some shelving over there. I have boxes there, um, two boxes here, insulation, of course. And then, oh, what do I have back here? I have some tracks, some rails. I do have some struts. Uh, there were three. 16 foot long struts. I just come cut them down to six eight foot struts so um, some metal from door locks Down there in the white uh, Some track and some bit bobs and pieces back here. I might have some angle iron back here as well So but Anyways yeah, so that's where I keep my operators, um, just in this little crawl space back in here. So there's some other stuff as well. Back in there, some heating ducts, whatnot, some fireplace, a fireplace rack, uh, some other things as well. Uh, yeah, so this is what we have. This is what I use to store my operators on. So just this little crawl space. So, thank you for watching. As always, I'm Curry to praise the Lord, and I hope you like this video. If so, smash that like button, uh, subscribe, uh, hit that little notification bell so you know when I post new ones, uh, new videos, and uh, comment and uh, rate. As always, I'm Curry to praise the Lord. Thank you for watching.